Mr. Rottenborn has revealed Amber's mental breakdown after getting sued multiple times. All these legal battles are taking a toll on Amber, who appears to have suffered from several episodes of panic attacks and breakdowns because of all this pressure. This isn't what we're saying, this is what her lawyers are telling us. But is there any truth to these claims, or are they just ploys to gain sympathy for her? Keep watching to find out more. A recent tweet from famous internet commentator and online journalist, The Real Laura B, shed some light on Amber's struggles nowadays. The tweet read, breaking news, insurance lawsuits in Amber Heard, number one, New York Marine, so no to trial consolidation, possibly pre-trial discovery agreement. Number two, Amber Heard's lawyer. Amber is dealing with an appeal right now and too stressed to deal with this, she needs time to review. What users found shocking was the second point in this tweet. One person wrote emphatically in the replies, well, she'll be too stressed for years then. Sounds like just a lame excuse to not deal with something that she can't win. I got to be a full-time mom and not have to take calls from lawyers. Didn't age well. She's too stressed because her lies got her in trouble? There are two ways people are interpreting this. One is that the financial burden of all these legal proceedings, as well as the constant media scrutiny and social media grilling, has had an adverse effect had has an adverse effect on Amber's mental health, and she's suffering because of it. Even though this is a possibility, it is highly unlikely that this is true. The other more plausible theory is that Amber and her newly hired team of lawyers, along with Mr. Rottenborn, have planned all of this out perfectly. By making Amber look like a victim once more, they can get an extension on the payment of bonds and the money she owes debt. Before we move any further, we'd like to inform our viewers that the information mentioned in this video is not intended to hurt the sentiments of anyone mentioned or thereof. Everything talked about is either based on people's opinions or mere theories. For those of you who are unaware, Amber Heard has yet again changed lawyers in her attempt to force two insurance firms to pick up the bill for her libel payout to ex-husband Johnny Depp. Heard, 36, was ordered to pay her ex-husband more than $10 million in damages at the end of the explosive trial in June when a jury ruled that she had defamed Depp in a newspaper opinion piece published in 2018. She's currently represented by David L. Axelrod and J. Ward Brown in her appeal of that verdict. The actress has also recently hired Kirk Passage on her legal team as an attempt to get multiple insurance companies to cover her legal bills, which may surpass $15 million according to Puck News. Puck claims that Heard's expenses soared over $8 million before the Virginia trial even began. Heard's team appears to want homeowners insurance to cover those bills. The battle concerns Travel's commercial insurance company and New York Marine General Insurance Company. Travelers initially sued New York Marine in July 2021 to gain reimbursement for half of what is spent on defending a client that turned out to be Heard. Heard's homeowner's policy with Travelers covered libel to the point of about 500000 while New York Marine had issued her a general liability policy for $1 million. The crux of the suit was Travelers believing Heard had the right to pick her own lawyers, while New York Marine disagreed, believing the case was fairly straightforward. A judge agreed with New York Marine's desire to use local, cheaper attorneys. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.